Gentlemen, I don't think this is phase four, but Chibi got a new one called Leakers Confirm How Much They Stole and Netflix Forced to Make a Statement. Give it to me, Chibi. At long last, Netflix and even Crunchyroll has responded to the leaks that's been taking place for the okay. past five days or so at this point. And there's been even more leaks since the last video I made two days ago. And I'm not going to go over the entirety of the list, but there has been a lot that's leaked, live action shows included at this point. And it's been just an overall mess. It's probably... <laughs> this Twitter account is called Weeb Central. That's amazing. One of the biggest disasters in leak culture i have ever seen like i have never seen a company have so many leaked series come out back to back like it has happened in this past week ever since honestly i've been on the internet i, I have never seen just so many studios been royally screwed over thanks to netflix's overall incompetence but also their partners being incompetent as well it's taken them a very long time to basically acknowledge and even comment on the situation and I think that was a smart move to kind of hold out and make sure that you've done the damage control assessment and figure out how many potential more leaks are going to happen. Because imagine how stupid you look again, right? One thing gets leaked, you say, oh, we got it. We're on top of it. Don't worry. Another thing drops. Oh, shit. Now they look even more stupid because they already made a statement. And we're going to do, you know, talk about that too. No, it's better to just wait. But I guess now it's time to actually make a move. But I think... Thanks to the overall damage that, you know, obviously these leaks have caused, it has basically forced Netflix to actually just really make a statement on the situation. And even Crunchyroll having to make a statement now thanks to the leaks that's happened. Amelia's titties look significantly bigger compared to the season one Amelia that I'm watching right now. <laughs> wow. I mean, Felt didn't, Felt doesn't seem to get any bigger. I guess Reinhardt's not feeding her anything because that Lollicon does not want Felt to, you know, properly fucking mature into her age. Reinhardt never beating the allegation, but Amelia, goddamn, what the fuck she been eating? Been with ReZero. So let's uh, back up for a second and let's talk about what we know now. Okay. So FYI, if you've been living under a rock, well, a bunch of stuff has leaked out this week. To Ranma, to Don to Don, ReZero, to... I don't think Don to Don season, uh, uh, sorry, episode 7 to 12 isn't leaked yet, right? I think that was rumored to be leaked this week, but I don't think it's happened yet, right? Terminator anime, you, you get the point. There's been a lot of stuff that's come out that shouldn't have Arcane? come out. Arcane? Like even Arcane as well. There was this one called Heartstopper, I believe, that's come out. There, there's a bunch of stuff that's come out, so to speak. Um, I believe uh, there was a few other things that's leaked too, anime-wise, but it's slipping my mind at this current moment. But the point of the matter is, is that for a while now, it's been a lot of rumors and speculation on what has actually happened. Happened. And okay. finally, thanks to Netflix's overall statement, we now know the culprit. So apparently, Netflix's post-production partners oh, shit. is responsible for the overall data breach or leak. They have been now. What is a post-production partner? After the production of the series, I'm assuming it's a bunch of groups and entities and teams that are working to kind of distribute those projects, those products to you know different services. But while doing that, the dub and sub, like there must be a different entity that takes the, you know, the raw product and then kind of like translates it and then, you know, gives it out to different places, right? So interesting. Been compromised and footage has been coming out from several of their titles and they're aggressively trying to take down this leaked footage. Now, I'm just going to be completely blunt here. There is too many leaks out there now. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> It's the internet. Once it's been shown once, it's never going away. That's just how the internet works. You can try your best to, you know, do all these different strikes and try to take down, but everybody's have downloaded their into probably their local systems. It's it's already way too late. At this point, there's too many sites that have these leaked footage, too many accounts, yeah. too many different. Like with stuff like this online, you can never be reactive about it because it's already too late if it happens. You need to be proactive and figure out measures to prevent it from happening, but it's too late now. For people around the world that has all these this footage downloaded on their PC, yep. that they can easily make burner accounts and repost these, you know, different leaked episodes and movies, etc on the internet and so getting there is no one stupid enough that made a re-zero season three reaction right re-zero season three episode one reaction there's no one that posted this shit right <laughs> that's me no I, I don't think so right no one is actually stupid enough to try to get on early and <laughs> so okay okay good 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 rid of the leaks and taking them down at this point is pretty much impossible it's not going away. So now the only thing that really Netflix can do is... Post-production editing, sound design, visual effects, usually handled by studios themselves and specialized post-production companies are quite important. Interesting. Cool, cool, cool.
just damage control as much as they can and try to stop this from potentially happening again. So that gets into the point, the post-production partners that Netflix was working with. So apparently the individuals that worked with Netflix is related to this group here. Apparently the group that, you know, Netflix sends their, you know, actual movies to and series to to dub and subtitle stuff, they basically were compromised. And BBC. they handle these different, you know, companies as well when they're actually working on movies and episodes and stuff. So you can see a lot of different brands were compromised thanks to this leak yeah it isn't necessarily it's not again these aren't just random brands too bro netflix amazon prime riot games paramount studio warner bros bbc studios nbc universal these are mega mega corporations just netflix but a bunch of different you know major companies that's in hollywood in the west that's so funny trust a company that can be your strategic play like, look at the fucking logo. Trust a company that can be your strategic partner to deliver. Deliver what? Leaks? Deliver what? Lawsuits? Etc. And so, when you look at this post that was made here on 4chan... Oh, 4chan's already on it. <laughs> Downloaded 87,000 files. I knew the site was going down. If I posted this much, so I downloaded everything from Netflix, Paramount, Warner, amongst the others. I still have access to other things, so this won't stop. <laughs> Well, you know, how how valid, how you know, how how real are these things? The anonymous posters on 4chan. You know, you can talk your shit, but sometimes, you know, they are on point. Things start to make you raise your eyebrow a little bit. You start to be like, huh. You know, this is giving a little bit more potential possibility that this statement was true yeah. that happened a few Again, you never know. It's a bunch of fucking edgy idiots, you know, posting shit anonymously, acting as if they are like an anonymous hacker, but Maybe a few days back. So if you throw all this together, most likely we can only assume that this statement or comment lines up perfectly with the overall compromised post-production studio that was working with Netflix. And here it is, as you can see, Netflix, Paramount, Warner, and among others have been compromised. And the individual, once again, this is a confirmation that they 100% this is the person's doing. Yeah, it could get, it's a random fucking anonymous comment on 4chan. Like anyone can just go there and just talk shit. Right? If I go there and say I'm a fucking, I'm the leaker known as, you know, a hack, I, I am the fucking uh, arcane leaker, like, you gonna just believe that shit, right? It, again, anonymous. It's just random motherfuckers posting shit. Doing it, but if this is led to be true, they have 87,000 files of leaked files from Damn. these different studios, which is absolute insanity. Just how much content they theoretically could leak out there on the internet it is so much damage, and this is a very risky play from this individual even willing to do something like this. As I exactly right, it's just kind of flexing like this is. I mean, obviously, they want to be known. Like, if this actually is the person doing it, they probably want to be known, but, like, you should probably shouldn't talk about it, even if it's an anonymous board. But regardless, right, like, who can really take this at face value? I said, you're not just going to face just regular prison time. You're potentially just going to disappear because you're playing with a lot of money at this point. This is with true. All these studios it's a lot of money. Them. So, yeah. But anyways, getting into the point, though, um, it seems like the overall breach was thanks to some form of hack or something or a compromised employee or something with the post-production studio that worked with Netflix. Now, overall, Crunchyroll's statement on this situation is pretty much more or less the same. It's not necessarily related to this leaker that's apparently... Yeah, this is from the French Expo, right? Apparently doing stuff like this, but basically, you know, Crunchyroll acknowledges that, yes, there was a leak to their footage, most likely affiliated with the French convention that was cancelled, I believe, you know, a few weeks back, and thanks to that, you know, somehow the episode got out. So they're investigating, trying to figure out how this happened, and all Obviously, whoever did this is probably, they're going away as well. Now, here's the thing. The damage has been done. It There's no kind of closing Pandora's box at this point. But it is interesting kind of finding out the overall result and how this situation can get a lot worse. Because if we're led to believe that so Phase 4, man. I'm still willing to bet. Well, no, I'm not willing to bet. But the rumors of Dandadan, rest of the seasons being leaked, like... 
I could see it happening at this rate. No one really did have access to a studio that was a part of the post-production that is technically affiliated with not just Netflix, but like Paramount, Warner, etc. Oh my goodness, how much stuff they potentially could be leaked. According to some of the stuff that's came out since, I don't know if this is true, this is rumors I've heard, Sakamoto Days almost was leaked as well. Holy shit. Another giga huge shonen series that's been kind of, you know, marketed along with Dan, Dan, Dan right? Uh, thank God. But thanks to it not being finished and it still being cooked up as well, you know, Sakamoto wasn't actually any information or any episodes. What about No Game No Live Season 2? Yo, the leaker should fucking meme around. No Game No Live Season 2. We have the files. Etc. Wasn't given out, even early leaked footage or whatever. So it kind of got saved very easily or it would potentially have already been leaked out as well. But uh, yeah, uh, this news story honestly just keeps developing and getting even crazier and crazier. I'm curious to see what the end result is. Like, I mean, I wonder if there's going to be Huge any other big titles that's going to be pushed out or if we've More seen the bigger titles that's already been released at this point we'll have to see but i wanted to keep everybody up in the know let everybody know kind of what's going on that you know netflix finally responded so did crunchyroll to the entire situation even if it isn't necessarily a big response they basically do point the fingers at kind of what has happened and they kind of shift the blame a little bit away from themselves of course, right? It's never always gaslight. It's never your fault. Blame someone else. There's always a scapegoat. But even still, if I was Netflix at this point and these other companies that's affiliated with this, you know, studio that's doing this post-production, I probably wouldn't work with them anymore. I'm going to be honest with you. I probably would just cut ties with them it's at this point. It's a bad look. Because like I said, the damage that's been done now to all these companies is really high. And look, I understand, you know, people might not like these companies. That's completely fine. Don't try to protect companies. You know, they're... They're evil. They, they're out for profit and money. But it doesn't change the fact that a lot of people's jobs are at risk as well, thanks to a lot of the money loss that's happened at this point. And because of just the damage that's been caused, you know, Netflix and all these other companies probably should look at this post-production studio and be like, I'm cutting you out. We, we don't want you anymore. And they'll look elsewhere for someone to work with. But I'll leave it at that. Thank you. Thank you, Chibi. So what do we learn today? Post-production studios. They're the ones involved with, you know, finalizing and... They are the root cause of the leaks. And it's not over yet because there is a hacker known as 4chan threatening 87,000 files now. That's obviously a lot of fucking content. Most of it probably is irrelevant shit that's already probably public already. But, you know, I don't think the leaks are really over yet. Phase 4 could happen. Don da Don is probably going to happen. Who knows? But hey, here's the video from Chibi. Please go to his channel. Check out his channel. Like the video if you have. And I'll see y'all on Phase 4 if it happens.